we want to find the arc length of the spiral polar curve given by r equals two times e raised to the power of three theta from zero to pi over three radians. So here's a graph of our polar curve. Zero radians terminates here along the polar axis or positive x-axis. And then pi over three radians, which is equal to 60 degrees, would terminate here. So the interval of integration would be from here to here and because pi over three radians intersects the polar curve at this point here, we'll find the arc length of this piece of the curve. The formula to find the arc length is given here below, where the arc length is equal to the integral of the square root of r squared plus the r d theta squared integrated with respect to theta from alpha to beta. So we know that r is equal to two times e raised to the power of three theta. We also need dr d theta, which is the derivative of r with respect to theta. Notice how we'll have to apply the chain rule. So the derivative will be two times e raised to the power of three theta times the derivative of three theta with respect to theta, which would be three. So dr d theta is equal to six times e raised to the power of three theta which means the arc length from zero to pi over three radians is equal to the integral of the square root of r squared, which would be two e to the power of three theta squared plus dr d theta squared, which would be six times e raised to the power of three theta squared integrated with respect to theta from zero to pi over three radians. Now let's begin simplifying the integrand. Two e to the power of three theta squared would be four, since two squared is four. And then e raised to the power of three theta squared, we would multiply the exponent, so we have e to the power of six theta plus six squared is 36. And again, e to the power of three theta squared would be e to the power of six theta. Notice how we have like terms, so we'll find the sum. We have the square root of 40 e to the sixth theta. Let's continue on the next slide. We can write the integrand as a product as the square root of 40 times the square root of e raised to the power of six theta. But we can write the square root using rational exponents as e to the power of six theta to the one half d theta. So now let's go ahead and factor out the square root 40. And since 40 is equal to four times 10, and the square root of four is equal to two, we can write this as two square root 10 times the integral of e raised to the power of, here we have powers to powers, so we'll multiply the exponents. Six theta times one half would be three theta. And now we can find the antiderivative so we do have to perform u substitution where we'd have u equals three theta, differential u equals three d theta. So notice that d theta would be equal to one third du. So we'll have an extra factor of one third when integrating e to the power of three theta. So we'd have two square root 10 and then we'd have the antiderivative of e to the power of three theta is one third e to the power of three theta. Let's go ahead and factor out the one third and write this as two square root 10 divided by three. And then when theta is pi over three, we'd have e to the power of three times pi over three minus when theta is zero, we have e raised to the power of three times zero so finally we have two square root 10 divided by three times, this would be e to the pi, and then e to the zero is equal to one. So this would be the exact arc length of our curve from zero to pi over three radians. But let's also get a decimal approximation. We would have two square root 10 divided by three times the quantity e raised to the power of pi 
minus 1. So the approximate arc length would be 46.6767. So again, we have the exact arc length here and the approximate arc length here, which would be the length of the curve from the point when theta equals zero. And notice when theta is zero, r would be two, so the point would be approximately here. And when theta equals pi over three, the point would be here, and therefore the arc length, as we mentioned earlier, would be the length of this piece of the curve. I hope you found this helpful.